Hey there guys and welcome to my first Game Maker tutorial of 2016. Well, I recently posted a viewer poll on strawpoll.me and the results were actually quite stunning to me. Basically, what got the most votes was uh, 3D fixed camera angles, so that's what I'm going to do today. Well, don't worry, there's two tutorials coming today, all in one video. I'm going to be doing a droid tutorial at the end of this one because it has been requested some time uh, ago. So uh, yeah, let's get started with this one. So basically what I'm going to teach you today is this. I'm going to show you right now. So let's wait. And there it is. I mean, look at this. So basically what we got here is this little guy that can spin around and, and walk. Basically the camera is in a fixed position. It will face a certain uh, position in the room. That could be either the player himself or just some random spot in the uh, entire room. And there's this guy who's just standing there to show you what happens when the camera shifts between angles. Well, it basically looks like this. Just ignore the little circle that you see right there. It's basically the uh, cam following point to make it more smooth. I'm going to explain that to you right now. So, well, I hope you're liking what you see so far. So, yeah, let's get started. First things first, the sprites. Here we go. Sprite player. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of sick today. Uh, it's very annoying. Well, this is sprite player. Very simple sprite, actually. It's just a circle. So, goodbye you. And the good old camera sprite that we all know and love. From the first time we ever opened Game Maker 8 and got that very nice 3D first-person shooter tutorial. And, of course, sprite floor. Well, that's all for now. That's the sprites. One texture, the texture of a floor. This is a very low res texture of grass, but it will do for now. Scripts, basically the mip mapping uh, scripts, it's nothing special. And then the objects, well, that was very quick, I like that. Let's keep the pace. And init player, well, this is basically loading a model, and my cursor has disappeared again. It apparently happens quite a lot. So, model, mister.gamemaker model, and it creates this model that we'll get to later on. So, yeah, that, that's that step event just for uh, for movement and all that stuff and model drawing I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how I make my 3d models as well later uh, if you guys would like that of course just leave something in the comments if leave like that <laughs> I'm sorry leave something in the comments if you'd like to see that in the future let's go to the camera which is very interesting this time in the camera all the things that we know but something new has appeared it's Delta Z and camera on this is basically for uh, the pitch that will uh, that's a lot of maths and I hate maths but sometimes you just have to you know and camera on this time it's false by default because uh, the nearest camera to the cam point which is right here the cam follow point will be turned on and the other ones will be turned off so let's get to the mathematical part for this Delta Z is its own Z minus the object player's Z plus 140. Plum, you can do uh, 140, you can do a lot more than that, a lot less than that, whatever you desire. Just do with it with it whatever you want. Pitch is minus arc tan, which is basically inverted tangent or something like that. I'm very bad at math, so excuse me if I am saying it all wrong, but it works. It works absolutely fine. So Delta Z divided by 1 plus distance to object, object can follow and uh, times 45 well, it works like that and it's facing object camp follow and then let's oh wait there's something more so oh no wait there isn't what or is there yes there is I'm sorry so just a little confused here this is to object if it's uh, if the distance to the camera is larger than the nearest camera to this point it will turn itself off which is very nice and don't forget this code if you don't have this code in it, no of the cameras will show up, or just one will show up and no other cameras will do. So that's kind of annoying, just don't forget to do this one. I'm sorry if I sound really sick today, guys. Oh man, what a great way to start a year, huh? Let's go to camera on. If it's on, this projection will show up. Well, yeah, nothing really special, actually. I've done this so many times now, and I've showed you guys so many times now. It's not nothing special anymore. And its parent is parent camera. So we'll show you right here. It doesn't do anything, but it has two objects in it. It's it's also got object camera fixed in it. I'm gonna show you that one right now. So what does this one do? It's basically the same thing. It nothing has changed really. 
but something here has changed and I've commented on it for you guys so you could know what to change if you wanted to change these uh, variables you should change these to whatever you want you can do either 300 you can do room height as well whatever you want I'm gonna keep it at room width that's basically all it does it just doesn't update its current location its facing point so that will give you a nice um, how do you call that fixed camera angle that's all that's changed this is the same as well so yeah that's that object cam follow here this is the uh, point that the cameras will face X plus is X right now this is gonna be a variable well there we go the uh, cursor has disappeared again I'm sorry here we go X pass is, is this position, the length of their X64 object player direction and the Y which basically means that it's going to be in front of the player instead of right on top of the player or behind him or something something different from this one and it's going to move towards that point at this speed which means it's going to be traveling at the distance to that point divided by 6 so if you were to do this it would just um, move straight to that place and it wouldn't just take any distance at all so this makes it a lot more smooth as this up keeps updating and basically it's uh, what you should see it a lot uh, consider this if the distance is 6 it will travel at 1 if it's 3 it will travel at 0 0.5 stuff like that and this is when the cameras get turned on with instance nearest XY par camera camera on is true which basically means that it will turn on the nearest camera to this point and draw itself, well, nothing special really. It's just this, drawing that little circle like you saw in the beginning of the video. These are the assets, object floor, well, you've seen this one probably in all my videos so far, you've probably seen it in all my videos. Which is a good thing, because it's very important to have a floor. And object gentleman, basically the same thing, but just drawing a different model, that's all. And object lighting, well, if you want lighting in your game, you should definitely include this one. Well, that was a very short tutorial, but that was it. I really hope you guys like it. Just give me a sec. Yes, it's good. Alright. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's kind of a different tutorial. Just tell me what you would like to see next. And there's next. Uh, the next tutorial will be up in about uh, 7 seconds, so I should go now. Have a great 2016, and see you later. Oh, hey there, back already. Well, good thing I have another tutorial for you. Basically, this one is for you, Coxie of Noob. This is your droid tutorial. I'm sorry that it has been three weeks since you asked me to make this tutorial, but here it is now, and I really hope you're gonna like it, because you better. Let's start with the sprites again. Sprite droid, and lots of stuff here you can check out yourself. Uh, sounds, there's only the one sound, the sound laser. Background textures of event, another event and the chip that you're gonna hack. Let's go to scripts, you know this one, of course you do. A font, this this one is just Arial, and this is perfect DOS. Very good font, I like it. Let's go to the objects. Object droid, it creates this object range, and you all know this one. Very simple. Yeah, stop drawing the damage indicator, okay. And here's the controls of the droid and when it collides with something it this happens when you press escape it closes the game when you draw you'll see this projection thingy Ugh. I'm sorry I'm still sick even though it has been like 12 seconds or so since my last tutorial alright light enable this is just for lighting the HUD right here and control fires the laser Object vent is just a 3D model, and object vent vertical, object intersection, object dead end. These are just simple wall models and stuff like that. Well, that's that's that. Object chip here is the one you're gonna w want to hack. Well, I was supposed to name this one initialize hack. Hack. So yeah, as you can see, there's a variable called hacked, which is set to zero, and when it's gonna get hacked, this is what happens. So when it touches this object, which we'll get to later, and you're holding the spacebar, and if hacked is smaller than zero or less than zero, 
Hat goes up by a health. So when it's uh, getting larger than 99, Hat will be set to zero and it will just disappear. It just vanish, if you will. So yeah, that's that. This is not used, I don't know what this is, but oh yeah, I do, don't worry. You'll see, you'll see. And this is the laser. My cursor is a gun, and there it is. It's just a bullet. You've seen this bullet so many times now. And basically what this does is it helps hacking for some reason. Don't ask me how, but it works. It works great. And drawing the model. Well, I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like. So here we go. Just loading up the game. Here we go. Here's the game. All right. So as you can see, we can move around, we can just fly anywhere we want, and there's this hacking thing which looks really shitty. And as you can see, there's in the top left, there's the hack progress thing. And when you hold the spacebar key, like we saw in the object range, this happens. Yeah. So yeah, that's what happens. It very simple, it just disappears. It just vanishes into nothingness. Oh yeah, and of course, shooting. Oh shit, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, I didn't know that was gonna happen. What did I do? Alright, it doesn't happen there. Okay, that was really weird. That never happened to me. That's funny. Alright. Uh, I'm kind of shocked about this. And at the same time, I'm not. It's just... Probably I overlooked some kind of variable that, that causes that. I'll look into that before I upload it to Dropbox. And yeah, well, that's basically it. You Oh, shit. Well, that's a professional way to promote your products now, isn't it, folks? Well, you can die in this game. Of course you can. I just keep in bumping into things just like that. Well, yeah, that's actually it. I don't want to spoil too much, even though I've spoiled just about anything but except for dying. Well, that's the entire tutorial, so I really hope it helps you, man. And if it doesn't, feel free to ask me a question in the comments below, or just privately message me. You just have a good day, and I'll see you guys later.